Hello and welcome to this new Leathercraft Academy tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to make a zipper pouch. Nothing really complicated, but there is one little trick you must know to assemble properly the zip in the corners, which is the main reason why I thought it would be good to make a video about this. Firstly, we need to cut the leather with a utility knife following the edges of the pattern. This one is not acrylic, but cardboard that I have cut using a laser machine. I have decided to use lamb skin for the outside and pig skin for the inside as I wanted a rather soft feel. Pig skin gives me a soft velvety touch on the inside but you could also use any kind of suede leather. I am now using a press to hot stamp the initials on the right bottom corner of the pouch. We are making and designing custom stamp in brass. If you want to learn more about this, you can watch the video in the description or visit our website. I am hot creasing all the edges. This can be done with a cold iron if you are using veg tan, but this is lamp and not veg tan. This process gives the edges a nice finishing touch and also rounds a bit the edges. I am using a regat filters. The iron is a FN2. 2 stands for 2 mm and mine is a left-handed version as obviously I am left-handed. I am now carefully applying leather edge dye on the zip body and lining edge with a brush. A single layer of dye is enough for this. I have cut the zip at the correct length and melting the fabric on both hands so it's not fraying later on. Using pliers, I am removing about 3 teeth on each side. I do not have top and bottom metallic stoppers, but no problems. I will show you how to do without it using leather. Insert the slider now because we won't be able to put it later with the stoppers on. As bottom stopper I will be using this small 1cm white leather strip that I will apply with contact cement at the end of the zipper just like so. Use a knife to trim the excess leather. If you are using a thicker leather, you might certainly want to skive both hands of the strip, but I am using a very soft and thin lamp, so I decided not to skive it. Now for the top stoppers, I will be using two small 6mm wide leather strips that I will apply on the zipper just like so. Now I am tracing with a pen on the flesh side of the body a line 6mm from the edge. This is where I am going to place the zipper. I want to punch the stitching lines before the zipper is glued on the front and back panels. Using a scratch compass I am tracing a line 2.5mm from the edge. I punch following the line with a number 8 breaking iron. Number 8 means 8 stitches an inch. As you might have noticed, if you are watching my videos, I like to punch individually both sides to get a perfect top and bottom stitch. Therefore, I am also punching the lining before assembly. Let's now apply some glue on the zipper. Not too far, we don't want any glue to show on the final product and it might be really tricky to clean so just get it right the first time. Glue is applied on 4mm on both sides of the zipper. Now carefully apply the zipper following the straight lines and leave the corners for later.
As you can see I am using a round hole to deal with the corners and I am forming evenly distributed plates that I will later flatten with a hammer. Underneath I am using a mold, trust me this makes the process a lot easier. For your information a small acrylic mold is sold with the acrylic version of this pattern, check the link in the description. Now the zipper is assembled I am checking whether the teeth and the top stoppers are perfectly aligned. Do this test before to go further and if the front and the back are not aligned, fix it. Now let's assemble the lining with the rest. You need to be careful, the front and the back need to match perfectly otherwise you will face issues when stitching the zippers. This is how I thread my needles. I will stitch the zip with the front and the back. I am using the saddle stitch technique but you could of course use a sewing machine to do this as well. I am now tracing 2.5mm from the edge for the front and the back final stitching. We are almost done. Apply very little glue for the final assembly, we don't want glue to show inside of the product after stitching it. When the glue has completely dried, assemble carefully the front and the back together. We want the edges to be as flush as possible, this will save us some time for later when finishing the edges. Hammer gently the edges to make them as compact as possible. After the stitching is done, I will spend some time to buff the edges with a 250 grit sandpaper. Alternate layers of edge dye and buffing until you get perfectly smooth edges. This can take a while depending on the leather type you are using. Generally speaking, the harder the leather, the faster it is and vice versa. I will add a little leather puller to the zipper slider. I'm using a 5mm white leather strip that I'm simply finishing and hand stitching to the slider like this. That's it for today, I really hope this video was helpful to you and don't hesitate to leave a comment if you need to ask me something about the pouch or to suggest an ID for the next video tutorial. Visit the store amleathercraft.com if you want to purchase patterns or want to get your own custom leather stamp made by us. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!